Hi there, this is Solid Children from Solid Children Films and welcome to our random review. Today's random review may feature a familiar face. Um, it's Ogro or Operation Ogre from 1979 starring Gianne Maria Volotti. Um, I might actually have to um, rename this channel Solitary Volonte Films. Um, this was directed by um, Ponte Corvo, um, Gilo Ponte Corvo, who is more famous for the Battle of Algiers. Um, he also directed Capo, which I really need to see as well. Didn't actually make that many films, um, and he. Um, is collaborating again with Ennio Morricone, who obviously did the famous Battle of Algiers theme, if you like. Um, again, because I'm weird, I'm not as high on the Battle of Algiers as other people are. Um, I do think it's a very good film, but it does kind of appear on the greatest films of all time lists. Um, God, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I wasn't like blown away by it or anything. Um, I still think it's a very good film. Um, but this film, made in 1979, and it talks about events 1978 and 1973, and kind of, um, kind of pops back and forwards. Starts in 1978 and goes back to 1973. Um, we're in Spain. Um, we are in the last days of the Franco regime. Um, Franco would die in 1975, but when we go back to 1973, um, he's lining up a successor because he's not well. Um, and the terrorist group from the Basque region in Spain, which is sort of France, sort of Spain, sort of independent. Um, they hatch a plot to kidnap um, the successor um, for the return of 1,500 um, political prisoners. But as their task proceeds, it becomes um, an execution plot. And it features the four, well, six characters really, but the four-man gang um, headed by Volante, um, featuring Eusebio Poncella, who has a very striking drawn face. Um, he's in a couple of interesting little Spanish films, Arabato and Intacto, which also stars Max von Sydow. Um, and then you have... Um, Poncella's character's wife, um, who has a child, and Nicole Garcia um, turns up as a friendly face for them um, and lets them use the cover of a toy shop. Um, Nicole Garcia is in my, arguably my favourite Elaine Rennie film, um, My American Uncle, which I think is one of the greatest films of the 80s, but nobody agrees with me, but that's fine. Um, as I said before, I'm weird. Um, and this film is really about what kind of political action actually makes changes um, the violent kind the non-violent kind um, very much like Battle of Algiers it is quite a dry film um, but it is very intense and it's obviously helped by Volonte's intensity. Um, you know, Volonte, I haven't seen every single Volonte film, but you do get the feeling um, none of the films that he made were like knockabout comedies. Um, 
he was very focused on his politics and he chose his film roles um, to have um, political um, viewpoints. So it kind of starts in a, a fairly kind of almost documentary type way um, before we really get down to the nuts and bolts of this four-man crew um, or six and all with the two women who are kind of helping them as well um, but we really focus down on these four guys you know they disagree they bicker um, amongst themselves we kind of have um, Ponchella as kind of doubts and he believes in absolutes as we see in the 1978 sections um, whereas his wife for example and um, Volante's character is more about certainly later um, in 78 it's more about trying to get democracy and you know um, kind of agreements between two sides rather than the absolute um, you know we've got to use violence we've got to eradicate the opposite side completely um, but there's a wonderful moment later in the film between the two um, Poncella's character and Volante's character that they do kind of say well I actually like you and I actually like you too but um, you know again we can argue but we are on the same side again I'm not going to get into the the politics of the Basque region, um, you know, they have their own language and it didn't come from Latin, um, unlike Italian or um, or Spanish. Um, so it's a fairly unique place up the north um, of Spain. You don't really need to know that history. Um, again, it could really be about any um, terrorist group that is anti-government, whatever that government is. Again, obviously it's Franco Spain. Um, Morricone's score kind of just probes and prods and is kind of in the background. It's not as bombastic as the Battle of Algiers. It doesn't necessarily have like a um, striking theme. Um, Again, because this is about covert operations, um, there's a really nice um, scene, a building site, where um, there's a group of guys trying to get the workers out to form a union, and then they're beaten up by the police. And um, the leader of that group kind of talks to Poncella and again it's two different um, attitudes to you know we can do strikes and we can try and talk and we can as opposed to no we've got to take direct action we've got to kidnap people we've got to kill people because um, that's the only thing that they understand and again the film is constantly questioning you know and it does get into the nuts and bolts um, again, of their scheme that goes from kidnapping to um, murder, essentially. And, you know, what does it take to actually kidnap somebody? Um, you know, how many innocent people round about are going to be um, killed or shot? Um, killed or shot? Um, killed and shot. Um, so it does kind of get into the the nuts and bolts, it gets into the grey areas, it gets into the, you know, you can both be on the same side, um, you can both want the same thing, change for your country, um, but there's different ways of achieving that or trying to achieve that. Um, there's a really nice scene where Ponchella is going out and getting supplies um, and he comes across a bus full of Real Madrid fans um, 
And again, he comes back and he's kind of crestfallen and he tells the other three guys, you know, how, you know, they don't seem to be fighting, you know, Franco or wanting change because, again, they're going to watch the football, they're going to church and, you know, it's like, it doesn't really matter and here we are trying to struggle and trying to um, stop this fascist regime. It reminds... It reminds me of Army of Army of Shadows. I was going to say Army of Darkness. Um, no, it doesn't remind me of the Evil Dead Three. It reminds me of Army of Shadows. Um, it's not to that caliber of Army of Shadows, which is in conversation of the greatest film ever made. Um, but it is very good. Again, it's it's a slow burn. Again, Ponte Corvo. If you've seen Battle of Algiers, he's not really about. You know, well composed shots. He's not about dramatic camera moves. It is very um, realistic and photorealistic, um, and it does get into the characters um, and this matter of fact business of being on a mission and trying not to be exposed some nice little business with a little girl who recognises um, Volante and one of the other guys as being from the Basque region um, and she doesn't know why she just kind of knows um, and there's a little callback later in the film which might lead to um, a bit more tension featuring her um, even little simple everyday tasks become much more tense when you are um, so they go to Madrid to do the job um, and they're all kind of uncomfortable in Madrid because they just don't like the atmosphere and they want to go back to the Basque region um, so it does a really good job of ramping up the tension there's a couple of nice really nice set pieces and again all the while Morricone's score is just in the background it's not sitting in the front of the mix it's just kind of gently as i say kind of poking you um, without being um, bombastic um, unfortunately this is just a dvd even though the print is very good there is a spanish blu-ray i believe but i don't think it's got english subtitles um, so hopefully mr and mrs radiance they might release this in the the Dream uh, 23 disc Volante box set um, and there's Volante on the inside um, with the chapter headings I mean I found it really quite riveting um, and it flew by even though again it is a slow burn it's all about the setup it's all about the planning um, it's all about having doubts about whether it's going to work um, are we doing the right thing? Uh, you know, which method um, is going to work the best to get our message across? You know, whether you agree with that message or not. Um, but it's just really well done, um, really well acted. Again, another wonderful Volante performance. It's funny because at the start of the film, I don't think he's got a line until about 10 or 15 minutes into the film and when we're kind of introduced to the group he's almost at the back and he's almost just like a um, almost a hanger on before he kind of we do get the impression that he is the leader of the, the kind of group um, and again there is wonderful philosophical and political conversations with him and um, Poncella's character um, it's just another wonderful um, Volante political film, as just about all of his films are political. I mean, even the Dollars films that he was in, to some extent, you know, are about corruption um, and power and obviously sadism and things like that. Um, yeah, I don't think he ever made a fluff piece. Um, he was fairly choosy about what kind of projects um, he made because it did mean a lot to him and his politics meant a lot to him. 
Um, so that's Ogro or Operation Ogre. Um, another wonderful Volante um, and another really interesting Italian film even though it's set in Spain and about um, the Spanish terrorist group from the Basque region. So thanks very much for watching this random review. Please let me know if you've seen Ogro and what you think of it and hopefully you'll join me again for more random reviews. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell.